Good morning again, everybody. It is time for another update, and today we're going to talk about something I find very humorous. Years ago, when I first started doing emotion clearing work, I learned from the Nibiru ruins that there is a value in everything, and that means that uh, cussing, which I always had some issues with, had a value. And I thought it was also kind of interesting that my mother, who is such a lady, such a southern belle, boy, she can cuss a blue streak. And my father, you know, he's like Mr. Goody Two Shoes. He never cusses. But anyway, um, so they, they began to teach me about the importance of using certain cuss words uh, and, and the sounds, the vowel sounds of those cuss words um, in emotional clearing. And they showed me uh, in ways that there is like there's you can't deny that there that they have this power is that if you use these words in conjunction with a certain way of physically um, it, venting uh, using like a foam kids foam padded baseball bat and pillows and hitting the pillows and, and then cussing as you're as you're doing this it actually pumps that pain right out of the lower chakras so it helps to clear the emotional field and over the many years I've been doing this now, like, I don't know, over 10 years, I've seen people drop years off their face. Their, the wrinkles just disappear. And they have spontaneous release, uh, relief from chronic illnesses like back pain and things like that. Um, one lady had severe arthritis and couldn't play the piano anymore. And after she started emotional clearing, she was able to play the piano again. So I've seen all kinds of amazing things occur when you use these cuss words in conjunction with the right kind of hitting. Well, even though, though that happened, I was still having my concerns about it because there's a lot of people who come to these workshops and they don't cuss. And you could tell they're a little uncomfortable with it. And of course, that always makes me a little concerned. But you know, I've, I've seen the results, so I keep going and just, you know, take it as it comes. Well, anyway, I got an email the other day from this uh, a client of mine who sent me this article about some research that was done in, I believe, England, uh, where they were where they had discovered that there's a great value in uh, in using cussing to relieve pain, and they had the, these test groups where they had they had one group put their hand in ice cold water, and the other one do it too, but the one one group was allowed to cuss anything, any cuss word they wanted to say as much as they wanted to say. And the other one was giving neutral words like saying carrot or onion or uh, any other kind of word that wasn't a cuss word. Well, what they discovered was that the people who cussed were able to keep their hand in there longer than the people who didn't cuss. And on top of that, that the women who used the cuss word were able to uh, deal with more pain than the women who didn't get to use cuss words. So she was saying, see, the, the Nibiruans, they're catching up with the ancients. They're finally realizing that what the ancients said years, you know, long, long time ago uh, is valid, that cussing has a value. So it's like, okay, I have been, you know, vindicated. <laughs> I'm like, hallelujah. Because I have this long string of explicatives that I, I like to use when I get upset or angry. And now I can do it with even more confidence that, yeah, this is a really good thing. You know, the dark ultimately has a value. So I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to post the link to that article on my Twitter. Uh, 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 I'm going to send it out to all my Twitter people. And I'm also going to post it on, uh, let's see, on my Facebook page. So those of you who want to go and read that information, you're welcome to do it. And uh, anyway, it just really feels good that we can cuss again. I mean, I mean, we always could, but you know, so society was like so against it. Anyway, enjoy it. Have a hell of a time. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.